real shit. We go zero to a hundred, nigga, real quick. Baby, you don't have to pay the bill shit. You know better shit, not even a little bit. Oh, Lord. Know yourself, know your work, nigga. My ex been a lot of Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna show you guys how I get my hair super sleek and a bone straight. So the first thing that I like to do is take some of that Icy Fantasia hair polisher. And when I say I use the smallest amount of that stuff, y'all, if you use too much, the hair is gonna come out greasy. So I use a little tiny, tiny bit of it. And to flat iron my hair, I'm gonna be using my Inf Infinity Pro Flat Irons by Kind Air. And I believe I got these from Walmart and they were around $30, not too inexpensive for a flat iron and they work pretty good. And I'm also using it on the hottest setting which is 455 degrees and when I flat iron I like to make sure I flat iron small sections um, I feel like the smaller the section that you flat iron the more sleek that the hair will turn out if you do big sections some of the hair will like still end up being frizzy I don't know that's just I feel like this just works way better for me and I take about four tracks at a time and I separate um, the hair and just put it up into a little bun at the top of the wig and I'm just flat ironing it y'all I like to do the chase method with a comb so I'm basically chasing the um, flat iron down with the comb to make sure I get it super sleek and straight as well and this method just works the best for me so I also dyed this hair jet black I feel like jet black hair with straight hair is just a uh, freaking amazing you just don't get the same results with brown the natural brown color hair that the wigs come like i recommend dyeing your hair where we are wig jet black if you plan on wearing it straight because i just think it looks so much prettier and it just makes it look more shiny and just more silkier like i don't know it's just something about that jet black hair y'all and i do have a video on my channel of how i dye my wigs jet black so if you are interested in that i'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below but girl let's get into this hair though so this is not doula hair and when i say this is my favorite hair company i have nothing but positive words to say about Nadula hair and i'm really not just saying that y'all Nadula is the best when it comes to hair especially when it comes to the lace as well every time i get a Nadula wig it turns out to be like one of my favorite wigs i have a video on my page of my top five wig companies and i just feel like i have to do an updated one because my like my favorite wig companies have actually changed a lot now that i've tried out different wigs so I'm going to do an update in one of those, my top five wig companies. So make sure y'all stay on the lookout for that video. So now I'm going to flat iron the closure part of the wig. And when I flat iron the closure part, I actually don't use any of the IC Fantasia hair polisher because I feel like this part of your hair gets the greasiest for some reason. So I just avoid using it all together in the front. The type of shampoo and conditioner that you use, I believe, also plays a part in how your hair turns out when you straighten it. I like to use Suave Conditioner and Shampoo. That is my favorite brand when it comes to my wigs and my weaves and stuff like that. And I also like to air dry my hair. When I blow dry it, I just don't get the same results as when I just let the hair naturally air dry on its own. So those are a couple tips as well so that your hair can get really silky and straight and smooth. Okay, so after I go ahead and start, girl, I was turned. Okay, period. Period, TikTok dance. <laughs> but I just got this wig cap from the beauty supply store and it was entirely too light. So I just took some makeup. This is Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Coconut. And I just applied this right where I'm going to have my part at on my wig because I am doing a 5x5 five five closure wig today. So after I do that, I'm going to take a little bit of alcohol on my skin right where I'm going to be applying my wig. And today I'm actually going to be trying a new method to apply my wig. But let's get into this lace. When I tell y'all Nadula got the best lace, like I'm not kidding. This ain't even melted yet. But I'm going to be trying a new brand of spray today. And this is Eben Eben Lace Adhesive Spray. And I really wanted to try this because I saw somebody using it on TikTok. And I was like, ooh, like let me see what it do. Let me see if it's better than got to be free spray. So I used the same amount of lace that I normally would my, with my got to be free spray I just apply two layers and I just melt the lace into the skin and I'm taking this little 
metal tail comb and laying it in place and then i'm gonna take my wax stick and this is a she is bomb wax stick and i'm just putting this all over my head and take my andy's hot comb on the hottest setting and flatten the hell out of this wig so as far as the spray goes i really didn't notice any difference when it came to applying the wig i kept this wig on for two days like i normally do i don't keep my closures on for too long because they're just so easy to reapply but what i did notice though that it, it didn't turn like white like i don't know how to explain it so sometimes when i use my got to be and like overnight when i put a scarf on it and i sleep on it and then i wake up sometimes the lace is a little white like just a little bit and i might have to go in with a little bit of more spray but i didn't notice that with this spray i noticed that it was like the exact same that it was the day before so i don't know like I, I think I actually might prefer this one a little bit better. I'm going to have to use it a couple more times before I can really give y'all like my honest opinion on the spray. But this isn't like a long term method like a ghost bun glue or something like that. This is pretty much the same as got to be. It's not water resistant. So um, yeah that's how that goes. But now I'm about to go ahead and do my baby hairs. But before I do my baby hairs I'm going to take a little bit of that olive oil super hole free spray. And I'm just going to lay my edges back because this just creates the illusion of like natural hair. So to cut my baby hairs, I'm gonna just use this razor. And this is just the eyebrow razor that I got from the beauty supply store. And I'm cutting at like a slanted angle. I have like a more detailed video on my channel on how I do my baby hair. So if y'all are interested in checking that out, go check it out. But I actually decided to use this flat iron today. I didn't put this in the other video. But sometimes I like to curl my baby hairs with the flat iron. It just makes it a little bit easier to lay them in place. And I'm just laying them with some of my Motions hair mousse. This is my favorite, favorite mousse. Um, I'm actually running low of this. And it's really hard to find these mousse for some reason. Every time I go to Walmart, girl, it be so out like who be buying all my motions hair moves i don't like that <laughs> but it's really good and that's what i like to apply my baby hairs with and then i'm gonna take my elastic band that i got from amazon i prefer this over a scarf it's a little dirty girl but we gonna ignore that i'm gonna wash it don't do me because don't do me <laughs> But this is how the wig came out. It looks so freaking melted, so good. Like it's just coming out of my scalp. And this hair is so long, y'all. That's why I recommend flat ironing your hair on a mannequin head. If you get this long hair, you gotta flat iron on a mannequin head. It's gonna be impossible to flat iron this hair on your own body. Somebody else gonna have to do it. But I'm just so in love with this wig. Like it just looks so amazing and just so silky. Oh, love Nadula. So you know I gotta do my sharp cut of it part. So I'm gonna take my LA Girl Pro Concealer and this is in the shade Fun. And also this slanted angle brush. I got this brush from a set that I got on Amazon like years ago. When I say years ago, I'm talking six years ago. But if you search slanted angle brush, a whole bunch of them will come up. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, so this is an Adula hair and I've always wanted a 30 inch wig. Like, I just wanted 30 inches and I finally got it and I'm just so freaking obsessed with it. Oh my gosh. This I know I say every wig is my favorite. <laughs> I be saying every wig is my new favorite wig, but when I say that this is really my favorite wig, I actually prefer closures over frontals. Like I feel like closures are just more practical for like everyday wear. Um I love frontals too, don't get me wrong, but closures are just my favorite. Nine times out of ten, you see me, I got a closure on. And Adula is actually one of my favorite hair companies right now. I just love everything about their hair and everything about their lace. And I'm not just saying that, y'all. Adula is my favorite hair company. The hair quality is just so good. Their hair is so silky. I've worked with them a couple times before. And every time I get a lace with them, the lace is always my favorite, like, on a wig. So stay tuned for another wig giveaway because it will be mentioned in one of my hair videos. So you better be watching my hair videos, girl, because I'm not going to say, I'm not going to put it in the title. You're just going to have to watch the video to know that I'm doing a wig giveaway. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll definitely catch you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.